The 155 millimeter shells you are seeing right now are the type of shells that Ukraine is currently lacking. On the Ukrainian front line alone in terms of daily ammunition consumption, the 155mm shells consumed up to 11,000 rounds. The shells that Ukraine uses are not domestically produced, but come from the Scranton Ammunition Plant in Pennsylvania, USA. Many people wonder why, in modern warfare, Ukraine still uses shells from World War II. Actually, there is only one reason because 155mm shells are very cost-effective. They also know the Javelin missile, but a Javelin costs up to five or 600000 With the current high demand and Ukraine's weak economy, it is completely unaffordable. While compared to a 155mm shell, which is less than 6,000 currency units per shell effectiveness about the very high cost, it has an effective range of up to 32 kilometers. Inside the shell is loaded 24 pounds of P. NT explosive. Its lethal force is also not small. Ukraine takes advantage of the cheap price of this type of ammunition and fires a lot on the front line. But unexpectedly, the Americans encountered problems and had to force the factory to work overtime, still unable to keep up with Ukraine's consumption. This forced the Americans to temporarily borrow from South Korea and the UK 500,000 rounds to replenish the stockpile. But it is only a temporary solution. Actually, the production of 155mm ammunition is not too complicated. These cylindrical steel bars are the main raw material for making ammunition. The steel bars are cut into sections by the machine arm. Each section is 355 millimeters long. The raw material after cutting will be put into the furnace to heat. Wait until red hot, then put into the mold to stretch and shape. After creating the shape of the bullet, it will be heated again, finally quenching tempering. The finished shell will be painted with an eye-catching coating. Then the powder is loaded and the bullet is completed. Such a bullet is completely manufactured. There is a point to note. The finished bullets are often not fitted with a warhead. Only before firing is the bullet head screwed in. If the warhead is fitted right in the factory once it explodes, the entire ammunition factory can be completely destroyed. Although the production of 155mm bullets is not too complicated, but the capacity of the Scranton factory only reaches 11,000 rounds per month, completely unable to meet Ukraine's needs. The Americans spend tens of billions of dollars to upgrade the factory. It is expected that by 2028, the production capacity will reach 85,000 rounds per month. Although this type of bullet is cheap, but Ukraine consumes a huge amount. So by then, what will Ukraine use to pay the US this amount?